So what if Senate staffer got screwed at the Capitol building? It doesn't matter at all. I'm Josiah Ingalls, and I'm running for U.S. Senate. And I think this is a non-issue. Every time the Senate convenes, someone gets screwed, and it's usually us, the people. So show me a law where it's against the law to get screwed at the Capitol, because if so, then every single Senate member is probably guilty. Not only guilty of screwing over the American people without consent, but also you can guarantee that almost every single senator in the history of America has either had sex in their office or has jacked off in their office. That's the bottom line. It happens, and it's always happened. And every time the Senate convenes, they're screwing us over without our consent. At least this kid had consent. At least he was morally upright about it compared to the rest of the Senate who screws over us every chance they convene. And they don't even have our consent to screw us over. And all this in the media of how big of a deal it is. Oh, it's so horrible. It's disrespectful. It's disgraceful. No, what's disgraceful is that the U.S. Senate, and the House for that matter, screws over the American people every chance they get. Almost every time they convene, they're figuring out a way to screw us over. That's disrespectful. That's a disgrace. But they want to get on to this kid for taking it up the ass in a Senate hearing room? Well, that's what the Senate hearing rooms are for, because that's all the Senate does, is figure out ways to, for us to take it up the ass. Every single time. And it's like, so what's the big deal? Isn't that the daily business of the Senate? Screwing over the American people? And they want to get upset at this kid? His only crime is he got caught. Show me a law where it says that it's against the law to get screwed at the Capitol. Or for to do the screwing at the Capitol. Show me that law. Because under that law, we're going to arrest every senator that has ever lived. Because that's pretty much what they do there. So, I think this is a non-issue. So what? At least it was consensual. It's... I think that it's really messed up that they're going after this kid and they done fired him for taking it up the ass in the Senate hearing room when doesn't the federal government have a law that says that it's a crime to upload a sex video to the internet without the consent of all parties in the video? I'm sure that these two people did not give consent for it to be uploaded to the internet. So where is the outcry for violating federal law by uploading this video without these people's consent? That is where people should be upset. That is where the crime is. The crime is where they uploaded that video without consent and that violates federal law. Obama had a law passed that made it a crime to upload a sex video to the internet without consent of the people in that video or pictures for that matter. So where is the cries for those people to get arrested and charged. I think that's the bigger issue here. Because like I said, most of what the Senate does every day is either having sex with their wives in their office or their staff or jacking off in their office, not really doing what they should be doing and screwing over the American people. 
That's the daily business of the Senate, according to all the people that are currently in the Senate. That's what they do. That's why America doesn't represent us anymore. The federal government doesn't represent us. Because all they do is screw us over without consent. Thank you very much. And they want to witch hunt this kid. It makes no sense at all. So I think we should be going after those people that uploaded that video to the internet. Where is, where is those arrests? Where is that? Are we going to prosecute that crime? It's a crime, you know, that's a federal law. And they want to go after this kid. And I guarantee you they're going to bring some charges against this kid. But for doing the same thing all the Senate does. You guarantee every single senator that has ever been Senate has had sex in their office. Or relieved themselves by masturbating in their office. That is what they do. It is the proud history of American Senate. This is what happens in the Senate. Somebody's getting screwed in the Senate. At least this kid had consent. And a real crime occurred by uploading this video and no one's calling for those people to be arrested at all. No, I have not heard anything about it. So until we start calling for the arrest of the people that uploaded that video violating federal law, I don't think we should do anything to this kid. And if you show me that law that says that it's against the law to get screwed at the Capitol, then we're going to use that law to prosecute every senator that screws us over every chance they get. Especially with Ted Cruz. Especially Ted Cruz. The person I'm running against for U.S. Senate. He screws us over every chance he gets. So, yeah, show me a law where you can prosecute this kid and we can prosecute Ted Cruz and all the other senators. Republican or Democrat. And like this defense bill they just passed. 800, what is it, 886 billion dollars or 868 billion dollars. They just passed in this defense bill to protect Americans. How are you protecting the Americans that are homeless? What are you protecting them from when they're going to die of exposure to the elements? Are you protecting the Americans that are dying from illnesses because we have poison in our food because the Food and Drug Administration only deals with drugs and doesn't deal with anything with food? Are we protecting Americans from that? No. Are we protecting Americans from starvation? Because in Texas, if you don't have a job and you don't have kids, you get food stamps for like four months. And then you can't get it again for like five years. So what about all those people? They're starving. Are we protecting those people with that 800 and some odd billion dollars defense budget? No, all we're doing with that shit is protecting the interests of the 1%, bullying the world and pushing our agenda on the rest of the world. When we ain't doing nothing for real defense to, to protect Americans, you know, the actual people you're supposed to be protecting. So, yeah, that bill that they just passed to fund national security, that's a giant screwing over the United States people. And they want to go after this kid because he got screwed in the office. I think that defense bill is a bigger crime than this kid with consent, he got off. Big deal. The real crime is what the Senate does every day. But we ain't talking about that. Society don't want to talk about that. But I think we should be talking about that. So yeah, as a U.S. Senate candidate, big deal this kid got screwed in the office. Big deal. We're going to talk about people getting screwed over in the office. We need to talk about all those senators screwing us over. The American people. It's like, we didn't send them there to screw us over. No, we sent them there to represent us. But they don't care about that. But they're going to go after this kid for doing the same thing they're doing every day. The only thing is he got caught. Until next time.